You know, Riku has changed. Yeah, he's become more of a douche lately, have you noticed? You okay? That sounds huge. Let's take the raft and go. Just the two of us. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. What's gotten into you? You're the one that's changed, Kairi. Maybe. You know, I was a little afraid at first. But now I'm ready. No matter where I go or what I see, I know I can always come back here. Right? Yeah, of course. That's good. Sora, don't ever change. Huh? No promises. I just can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. Seriously, that sun's pretty damn big. <laughs> I remember the sun being that huge. But later, in another universe... Yeah, we're back at Disney Castle. And this is now going over what uh, King Mickey is saying to Donald and the rest of them. Donald, huh? Sorry to rush off without saying anything, do ya? Huh? Not sure why, but the stars have been blinking out one by one. And that means disaster can be far behind. I hate to leave you all behind, but I gotta go chicken into it. Huh? <laughs> That'd be funny if it just said, uh -huh, like a stop on a telegram. <laughs> There's something to do with the key. The key to our survival. Huh? So I need you and Goofy to go find him. Stick with him. Got it? Huh? We need to find the key or we're doomed. So go to Traverse Town and find Leon. He'll put you in the right direction. Oh, oh, oh. I'm such a dick. P.S. Oh, would you apologize to Minnie for me? Thanks, pal. Oh, sign Mickey. P.S.S. We're all have ice cream. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. What could this mean? It means we'll just have to trust the king. Because we have no other choice. <laughs> I heard these keys are meant for opening doors. But that just sounds preposterous. Of course. You be careful now, both of you. Oh, and to chronicle your travels, he will accompany you. Ah, I always wanted my own traveling desk. Oh. <laughs> Greg is the name. Jiminy Cricket at your service. We hope for your safe return. Please help the king. Seriously, that smile's so fucking creepy. Ugh. Especially how she has like no teeth. <laughs> yeah, Goofy would be one of those guys to puss out in this in a situation like this. Gorge, Jiminy. Your world disappeared too. It was terrible. We were scattered. And as far as I can see, I'm the only one who made it to this castle. Oh, right. I got you. You mean while we're in other worlds, we can't let on where we're from, huh? We gotta protect the world border. <laughs> border? <laughs> Say no to immigration. <laughs> <laughs> why am I just imagining Goofy on Border Patrol now? I don't know why. That sounds terrible, but <laughs> as I'm thinking, ugh. God, I'm going to hell. That ship kind of looks like just, uh, that one, uh, looks like the car from that one app on your iPhone a long time ago. It's a, it's a Disney game, too. It's got, like, gummy car or something like that. I remember that game, gummy car. Popular, like, back in, like, some freshman in high school. Your freshman, sophomore, somewhere around there. What the hell is he picking him up by? Donald makes sense, but Goofy? I don't know what the hell they were picking him up by. It's very suggestive, in my opinion. God, everything has to be in the shape of Mickey Mouse. He is a tyrant. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. 
<laughs> to the void. Ah, <laughs> uh, nah, I don't need to bring Final Fantasy V into this. It makes it's relevant, you know, Final Fantasy and Disney, but whatever. Now Donald and Goofy are off to find this key and their king. But what is Sora doing in this meantime? Ah, lying in bed. I didn't even know he had a house. <laughs> I just can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. Seriously, is that like the, the only pair of clothes he actually, you know, wears? Oh no! The raft! Hey, is the island away from where he lives? Oh my god, he actually has parents? <laughs> Here I thought he was only he was only by himself. You know how it is. They usually show the kids, but they never show the parents. But a storm. Something must be brewing. What's that? It's so beautiful. It's a void. Riku's boat. God, so Final Fantasy V is getting into this game. Ah! I love this expression that comes up with Sora. What? <laughs> I love the expressions that Sora makes in this game. It's pretty damn funny. Oh, jeez, but now we have all this Heartless that we encounter in our hallucination dream, and... Oh, jeez. The sword isn't working! Ah! I knew put I should have put more nails at the end of it. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Uh, hey, look, there's Riku over there. Oh, this douchebag is trying to assess the situation. Hey, idiot! There's a lot of heartless running around. Don't you see them? Kyrie, I thought she was with you. The door is open. What? The door is yeah, open. Yeah, what? Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. What are you talking about? We've got to find Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. Once we step through, we might not be able to come back. We may never see our parents again. There's no turning back. You don't know that. But this may be our only chance. We can't let fear stop us. I'm not afraid of the darkness. Oh, geez. We're getting a recreation of the beginning cutscene in the in the game. <laughs> Instead of getting, you know, wiped out by a tidal wave, now Venom is going to get us. Ugh, I knew symbiotes would be the end of me. Yeah, gotta reach out a little bit more. You want Sora, you could do it. Okay, fine, don't. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know what? You won't be missing him. He's a jerk anyway. Then suddenly... Random light. God came to me and said, <laughs> Ah, well, he's gone, and whoa. What the hell is this? What happened to my blunt sword? Keyblade. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. So now our sword has been replaced by a keyblade. Let's see if this actually works better. Yeah, come here. Holy shit. Yeah, this thing is working a lot better. <laughs> Screw the wooden sword. This is where it's at. So now we actually have a offensive weapon for us to tackle on these uh, shadows and everything like that. Yeah, kill a couple of them only because I do want a bit of XP at this point. Yeah, come here. Come here, you sons of bitches. I can take you all on, you fucking pussies. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Oh yeah! Don't think that's the end of them. They will keep respawning when you go along, the, you know, the areas and whatnot. But he said something about a door being open. Can he possibly mean the door in the cave? Uh, we'll go there in a few minutes, but first... Murder! <laughs> ah, you know what? Don't feel bad for these things. They don't have a heart. Hence is why they're called Heartless. Yeah, come here. Oof, sweet. I leveled up my strength. That's nice. I could have sworn that my defenses should be going up actually a lot quicker, but 
guess not, but I did choose the Dead of Night, so in the beginning I will be leveling up pretty slow, but... Whatever. I'm gonna probably kill maybe about a couple more, and then I'm actually gonna continue on with... Oh, jeez. Of course, a ton of them appeared. You jerks. Get out of here. Ooh, one of them dropped the potion. Yeah, the enemies can drop items and everything like that, so... Yeah, it's kinda... It pretty much is like a Final Fantasy game. Come on. Come on. I get you, you guys. There we go. Okay, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> oh, look at that. Door to our secret place. I wasn't there before. Let's go investigate. Do I seriously need to have the door open for me to just crawl through a hole? <laughs> Whatever. Let's go check out that door that he was talking about. Oh. Cutscene. Kairi. Oh, Kairi. Sora. X up with her. She sounds so monotone. Ugh, oh, I knew it! Kairi was a ghost so long! <laughs> Did she disappear? Was she never there to begin with? <laughs> Whatever the case may be, Kairi's gone, Riku's gone. There's no reason to live anymore, we might as well kill ourselves. Nah, I'm not gonna be that dark about it. Whoa. Now we're extremely close to that void now. Ah, shit. We meet again, dark side. But this time, we're on a little island. So, pretty much the whole strategy with dark side is the same thing. Just this time, I think it's a little bit stronger. That's it, though. And of course, I'll start out with this chest and everything like that. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot you can actually hit those things to uh, get some tech points. Really hard thing to do, though. You can actually deflect them back at him. Tech his arms a bit. I will try to go for his head too, because you know I do want those extra tech points. Come on, I know you want to punch the floor. Come on, I know you want to. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Good job. Ah, fuck. Seriously. Getting on his arm is a bit finicky. Yeah. Ooh, tech points. Delicious. Delicious, delicious tech points. Ah. Curses. You had to get up. Yeah, I'll get rid of these bastards because, you know, they will get annoying. You know, free XP is always nice. Oh, yeah. He has this new move that he does, too. We'll grab something out of the floor. So this gives you a perfect enough time to actually hit him in the head. And sweet, I leveled up and got my defense up. When he actually reaches into the floor like that, he'll grab this ball that shoots all these little uh, small projectiles, and they're actually pretty hard to dodge. But... Honestly, if you just hit him in the head, which is his weakness also, just to let you know. It's 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 the spot you want to hit the most because you do, you know, kill him a lot quicker by hitting him in the head instead of the arms. And, you know, just keep doing that. You'll never see that whole grabbing the orb out of the floor and using it as a projectile. And now Sora is sucked into the abyss. Oh, what a way to go. What a way to go. Well, wonder where we're going. Oh, it's only Goofy. And Donald. Oh, look! A star's going out! Oh, no! Stars! My god! Come on, let's hurry! Honestly, I don't know how stars can go out. I mean, are they just light bulbs in the sky, then? Because <laughs> aren't they supposed to be, like, concentrated light or something? But anywho... Traverse Town. So this is the place that King Mickey was talking about. Where's that too? Hey, you know, maybe we ought to go find Leon. Oh, uh, Donald, uh, you know, I bet you that, uh... Ah, when do you know you meant by your cat? That is a very good question. <laughs> Come on, Pluto! There are times that Goofy does know his shit. What is behind those crates that got Pluto's attention? Oh, look at that. Suddenly we ended up here at Traverse Town. I don't know how, but just did. Oh. Uh. Huh? What a dream. Ah! Ow! This isn't a dream! Damn dog, you would have broken my rib cage! Do you know where we are? 
I hope he's not questioning the design no. of that dog. Because, you know, I wonder if he ever saw a dog in the real world. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we're here in Traverse Town. Huh, what's this? It's a little heart symbol. Must mean something later, but eh, for right now, can't really do anything. So, let's just go around the corner here and see what we're in for. Whoa. This is totally weird. I'm in another world! Whoa! <laughs> Insert the Bill and Ted whoa thing in here. <laughs> uh, Alright, so now, apparently we've gone from our island to Traverse Town. That void did something. So, yeah. Huh. What do we do now? Let's talk to some of the inhabitants here. Those candles burning over there were specially created by Moogles. Even if you snuff one out, it flickers back to life in no time. You probably need magic to put them all out. Huh. Magic, you say? That might come in handy. Ooh, what's in the chest, though? It will not open. There must be some sort of secret to opening it. Ah, curses. That's a lock. We need a key. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Well, there is a way to opening it. Oh, there's that weird symbol again, but this time in blue. Huh. Let's talk to this Titus lookalike kid. I wonder what happened to Mom and Dad. Huh. Now well, I think the same thing, too. I didn't even know I had parents until that cutscene. <laughs> a little Moogle here. Seeing all this town will help take will take some time, Koopa, especially for newcomers. If you can't go to certain areas now, you'll probably be able to go to them later. Huh. You don't say. <laughs> Progression? <laughs> Let's talk to this guy. This town has grown as people has lost their homes homes to the worlds and come over here. It's easy to get lost in such a big, sprawling place. Be careful. Huh. So, I guess I'm not the only one who's lost their home and got, uh, warped here, apparently. Huh. We might as well keep exploring and everything like that, because honestly, I don't know what to do here. Uh, let's go over to this, uh, accessory shop here. You know, accessory shops are always nice. Yeah, look, this is that symbol again, but this time in green. God, it must mean something. Hey there, how can I... Ah, uh, it's only a kid. I'm not a kid. The name's Sora. <laughs> I'm 13, son of a bitch. <laughs> Don't ever call me a preteen. Okay, okay, simmer down. So, why the long face, Sora? He lost or something? No. Well, maybe. Where are we? Huh? Traverse Town? So, Gramps, is this really another world? Don't call me Gramps. The name's Sid. Yep, Sid from Final Fantasy VII, ladies and gentlemen. If it ain't obvious. Anyway, not sure what you're talking about, but this sure ain't your island. Hmm, guess I better start looking for Riku and Kairi. Well, good luck with whatever it is that you're doing. If you ever run into trouble, you can come to me. I'll look out for you. Yeah, so Sid here will be our accessory guy for the game and whatnot. Ooh, nice little gem. Attention customers. You can synthesize items like this and our one... One since the items like this on our second floor. Koopo. Wow, what a crystal. Yeah, what a crystal indeed. Wonder what item it is for. Let's see what's in this chest here. So I can open this one, but can't open the other one. Ooh, mithril shard. More synthesizing items. We'll get to synthesizing items later down the road, but right now, I guess our only objective is to look for Riku and Kairi in this place, because honestly, we have nothing else better to do. But before we do that, I'm actually going to take a break, ladies and gentlemen, because gotta start myself a new recording and everything like that. I've been doing this for like over you know, an hour and so and when it comes to the two hour mark when it comes to recording that's when uh, it's going to you know skip frames and everything like that. So until next time ladies and gentlemen we'll continue on our adventure of looking for Riku and Kairi. So until then I'll see you guys later.